Hello friends, in this video I'd like to solve the following problem from the Polish Mathematical Olympiad, second round, uh, 2005, problem number 1. We wish to find all positive integers n, for which both numbers n to the power of n plus 1 and 2n to the power 2n plus 1 are both primes. So it's a nice problem from number theory, it's not terribly difficult, here are my hints. First, it's all about this little formula that a to the power of l plus b to the power of l can be factorized as a plus b times the following sum, the following sum, provided that l is odd, that only works when l is odd. Consider first cases when n equals 1 and n equals 2, and for n greater than or equal 3, write that n equals some odd number times some power of 2, every number n can be written uniquely in this way, where l is odd, r is a natural number from 0, and show that that first implies that r, l equals 1, and then replace n by 2 to the power of r and consider these expressions. And that should be enough. So give this problem a try and I will see you in just a minute. So uh, so let's let's first check n equals one and n equals two. Case number one. When n equals one, what happens then? Then n to the power of n plus one equals two, and two n to the power of two n plus one equals uh, two to the power of two is four five. Both of these numbers are primes. Both are primes. All right, let's move on to case number two. When n equals two, what then? Then we have the following. n to the power of n plus one is five and 2n to the power 2n plus 1 after some computations is 257 and it can be verified that both of them are again primes. Both are primes. Now let's move on to our final case. Case number 3 and final. When n is greater than or equal 3. Now let's write let, moreover, let n be equal l times 2 to the power of r, where l is odd, and r is some natural number from 0. I will consider two cases. First, so maybe let's write that if l is greater than or equal 3, then we have the following. Let's take n to the power of n plus 1. n to the power of n plus 1 can be written as n times n to the power 2 to the power of r to the power of l plus 1 to the power of l. And now I will use the factorization which I hinted at in the beginning. Can be factorized as n to the power 2r plus 1 times sum going from k equals 0 to l minus 1 of the terms of this form minus 1 to the power of k n to the power 2, r, 2 to the power of r uh, l minus k minus 1. We factor it out in this way. And now we have a problem because this number is supposed to be a prime and notice that this is obviously greater than 1. This sum, because L is greater than 1, this sum is also non-empty. And it's pretty easy to verify that this sum is, uh, is not equal 1. It's not equal 1. Maybe let's write it in full to see it clearly. Because here we have for example, n to the power 2r to the power l minus 1 minus 
n to the power 2r to the power l minus 2 plus and alternating in the end we'll have n to the power 2r plus 1 and by grouping our terms for example grouping these two terms it's positive and every pair we will have a bunch of positive pairs and finally we'll have plus 1 so it's obviously greater than 1 so our number cannot be prime because it's a it's a product of two numbers greater than 1 so n to the power of n plus 1 is not prime in this case. So this case is dismissed. So l must be equal 1. If l equals 1, notice that that means that n is a power of 2. And now I will write both of our numbers. This first number can be written as 2 to the power of r 2 to the power of r plus 1, so it's 2 to the power 2r to the power of r plus 1. And our second number, 2n to the power 2n plus 1, it can be written as 2 to the power l plus 1, 2 to the power r plus 1 plus 1. And it can be written as 2, 2 to the power r plus 1 to the power r plus 1 plus 1. And uh, here we have yet another problem, because obviously one of these numbers is odd. So either r or r plus 1 is odd, must be. And we have a similar problem, because since our exponent is odd, we can do our factorization. So maybe let's consider that if r is odd, if r is odd, then we have the following 2 to the power 2r to the power of r plus 1. And also, by the way, since I am assuming that n is greater than or equal 3, r is greater than or equal 2. Yes. And now this number can be expressed in the following way it's 2 to the power 2 to the power of r plus 1. And here we have our alternating sum, 2 to the power, 2 to the power of r, r minus 1, minus 2 to r, r minus 2, alternating, minus 2 to r, plus 1. And again, you can check easily that this number is greater than 1, and by grouping terms, this is also greater than 1. So this number is definitely not prime. It's definitely not prime. And if r plus 1 is odd, then we will have similar problem but with a second expression. So it can be factorized in this way. 2 to r plus 1 to the power r minus 2 to r plus 1 r minus 1 plus alternating minus 2 to r plus 1 plus 1 and yet again this is greater than 1 this is also greater than 1 so it's not prime It's, it's not prime. So every time either the first number or the second number is not prime. Note also that that works because this sum has more than one term. It has more than one term because n or r is greater than or equal to. It's exactly because of that. So we have established that we have only two solutions. So let's write our answer. answer uh, n to the power of n plus 1 and 2n to n plus 1 are both primes if and only if 
if and only if n is 1 or n is 2. And this is actually our solution. And that closes this nice problem from Poland. So thank you very much for watching. I hope that you've learned something new this time and I will see you next time. Goodbye.